Hello everyone, welcome to Chiran Maths Classes. Today, I am going to explain to you about fractions. Just I am going to introduce to you. What are fractions? Before knowing this topic, you have to first know what are fractions. Fractions are nothing but parts of whole. First, we have to understand these terms, parts and whole. Parts is nothing but, in Hindi you can say today. And whole, I hope you know this meaning. Whole is nothing but the total structure of a shape, a thing or anything, etc. So to understand this more better, I'll give you an example here. This is a rectangle and I have divided it into two parts. Part number one, part number two. So I have shaded one part. So how much part is shaded? One part out of two, right? So how will we represent that? One by two. To understand this more better, I will show you a presentation. Introduction to fractions. A fraction represents equal parts of a whole. Remember that the parts have to be equal. Then only we will be able to represent them as a fraction. If the parts are not equal, then we cannot represent it as a fraction. By dividing it up to equal partitions. So before knowing what is fraction, we have to know the parts of fractions. Now, I have taken a circle here and divided it into two parts and one is shaded. So, first I have to draw a line here, which is called as vinculum. 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 Which is equal to divide by. I hope you know what is division. And if you don't know, then you can uh, ask me in comments, then I will make a video on it also. So, 1 by 2. Why have I written 1 by 2? See, first when you draw, we have to write a number at the lower part of the vinculum. Can we write any number? Of course not. The, tot the total number of parts should be written. Here, there are how many parts? 1 and 2. Just 2 parts, right? So, I have written 2. And here, can we write any number? Yes, no. You have to write the number of parts that are shaded. Here, only one part is shaded. That's why we had to write 1. So, the lower part to vinculum is called as denominator and the upper part is called as numerator. So, I hope you understand till now. Numerator. Numerator. Denominator. Denominator. Vinculum. Vinculum. Which is equal to divide by. So, I hope you understood, but I will give you an assignment so that you can practice and you will be able to understand it more practically. Imagine you have a pizza. If possible, you can buy a pizza too. Oh, you may think, what an assignment. Buying a pizza is an assignment. I hope you all like pizza. So, imagine you have a pizza. If possible, you can get one. And you have to give it to your brother. It may sound a little sad, but you should do right, right? So, you have to divide it into two equal parts. You have to give the half of the pizza, right? When we give, we have given one part out of two. So, we can write it as one by two, right? Because the total number of parts are two, which is we, have, we are writing in the denominator place. And the shaded one or taken away see we have to write how much is shaded or taken away in the numerator place okay so one by two is the is the total fraction that your brother got of the total pizza of the whole the pizza is a whole okay so likewise you can do different things like this two by three 3 by 4, 4 by 5, 5 by 6, 6 by 7, 7 by 8, 8 by 9, 9 by 10. Different possibilities. You can try with the pizza or imagine. Or you can just take a circle and divide it. Then also it will be like pizza only, right? Okay. So there are different possibilities for doing them. So you can understand fractions more better while imagining you have a pizza or getting a real pizza also. So I hope you understood what are fractions? Now I'll sum up what are fractions. Introduction to fractions. Fractions are nothing but parts of whole. We all know what are parts and on whole. Parts are nothing but today. 
whole is nothing but the total part or structure here it is shaded one by two and a fraction represents equal parts of a whole by dividing it up to equal partitions the upper part is called numerator which shows how much part is shaded or taken away and this line is called as vinculum which shows almost equal to divide by and denominator sh shows how, how many total parts are there and i have also given you an assignment of imagine you have a pizza or getting a real pizza also so i hope you are understood this topic if you are new to my channel you can subscribe to our channel children maths classes and you can get quality educational videos and you can like and share this video to your friends and family members so that they can also benefit from this video so thank you friends and bye bye